welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. Capricorn, if at any time you resonate, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, I'm doing a giveaway right now. The winner will be announced on October 26, 2023. Um, so you just need to go to my Instagram page, which is in the description box below. Forgive me. I'll be giving away uh, one of my uh, body oils here, the Clear Joy. These are intention body oils, healing body oils. You can use them for meditation. Um, <clears throat> I love them, and I'm not just saying that because they're mine, but I love the way it makes my skin feel. It's made with jojoba oil. Uh, you can check it out on my website if you're curious of the in uh, ingredients. But I'm also giving away this with this double necklace, not the one that I'm wearing. This will be a brand new one. But it is a uh, double chain. It's two separate chains, but they come together, and it is a gold mini evil eye. So if you're interested in entering that giveaway, just make sure that you uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow my Instagram in the description box below and comment done under the post for the giveaway. The winner will be announced on October 26th. So let's go ahead and get right into a Capricorn and see what messages come through for you today in regards to your current situation. <clears throat> Forgive me. Taurus, I always got throat issues here. I'm a Taurus, not you. All right, Jade, be the bigger person. All right, so we have be the bigger person. Selenite, clear the clutter. And on the bottom, you have rose quartz. Open your heart. So there is a situation here that you may be struggling with, Capricorn. You're struggling, especially with the green and the pink. So there's big focus on your heart chakra right here. And you may have been betrayed. Um, but there's something inside of you that needs to be cleared out that is showing up as um, a resentment <clears throat> of some sort. And spirit is asking you to be the bigger person. There seems to be some type of muck. And the reason why is not so much for the other parties involved, Capricorn, but really for you, for your expansion and for your growth. You have to release these, these feelings. So spirit is asking you to open up your heart. Maybe you need to forgive something. It doesn't mean that you have to allow that, that energy back in your space, but they're wanting you to release the low vibrational energy that is centered within your heart chakra here. All right, so let's see what happened for Capricorn. Ooh, yeah, something's definitely going on because my rose quartz just tipped over and it is shaped like a heart here. All right, so this one just tipped over. Uh, maybe you're brokenhearted. Maybe somebody really betrayed you here. We're going to get into it. So what happened is the king of pentacles. What's the current energy of the situation, please, for Capricorn? You have the six of cups. <clears throat> what is this person's thoughts and feelings towards Capricorn? The six of wands. What is Capricorn's thoughts and feelings towards them? The Five of Cups, okay. What is this person's intentions? Two cards, the Hermit and the Magician, wow. Hmm. What is Capricorn's intent? I feel like this person is taking action to hide something. I don't know why. Yep, your intentions are the moon. What is the outcome, please? Or, or what can they expect from this person? What can Capricorn expect? Ten of Swords. Wow. It's like they're putting some to rest. Something's going to be over. What can they expect from Capricorn? The Seven of Swords. There's a lot of manipulation, hiding of the truth, lying, all of that. We're going to look into this a little bit deeper. here. That's why you need to clear the clutter. What does Spirit want you to focus on here? Holy Spirit, what do you want Capricorn to focus on? The Queen of Pentacles. That's you. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. This is about loving yourself, mothering yourself, grounding yourself, nurturing. And what is the outcome for Capricorn? The Wheel of Fortune. All right, 
things are shifting for you. You're having a very hard time seeing the change, but you're in the middle of a change. You're in the middle of a lesson, okay? And I see with the Wheel of Fortune as your outcome, I see the possibility of something becoming unstuck and starting to move in a new direction. <clears throat> But like we were talking about earlier, you got to clear the clutter. you got to get rid of this muck. You have the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, and then Justice. Something's going to be made right when you release it and walk away. There's so much, um, <clears throat> there's a power struggle. There's a power struggle here, and there's somebody who really acts from their emotions, okay? They're having a hard time being rational. And I feel like there's two people here whose ideas of happiness and fulfillment are completely different. And there's an element of somebody wanting to walk away, all right? And it, but it's causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. What is this King of Pentacles, please, for Capricorn? For what happened? So there could have been a job opportunity or a business opportunity here because you have the Ace of Wands. Um, this is something that was exciting, right? It's like the beginning of something new. And it does affect your stability or your finances here. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. This was some type of commitment, new job, Knight of Swords. You may have um, you may have had more than one opportunity here because I see you going back and forth with this decision and really wanting everything to be a certain way, right? Really wanting it to be almost like a perfect opportunity. But with the Four of Cups and the High Priestess, you may have always underneath kind of known that this wasn't a safe choice or that there was something that could come about down the road, especially with this Knight of Swords, because I almost feel like accusatory with this Knight of Swords. Like they're coming in quick. They've got something to say. A little bit aggressive here as well. Clarify this. What is this message about? Clarify this, please. death endless harm and inevitable and then the card that tried to come out uh, but i put back in was ceremony mystery and magic <sighs> yeah illness it's like i said you felt something was off in a particular offer or a new beginning because it, it looks real good, but then this Knight of Swords, it's like something came in real quick and caused it to end or caused some type of damage to a situation. Like they couldn't hold their tongue. I almost feel like somebody, like I said, they can't control their emotions or they just acted real off the handle. Humble yourself. And then you have silent treatment. Forgiveness is needed. That's what this clear the clutter is. It's like humble yourself in this situation. You may not be communicating right now because, again, with the death card, it's like something had to come to an end. You're in this space of the Four of Cups just contemplating over what took place. Please clarify the Six of Cups. Three of Pentacles. It's taken a lot for you to try to work on this or to repair what was lost. Queen of Wands. Yeah, Five of Cups. And that's how you view this situation. There's a lot of loss, a lot of grief. You have the Three of Swords. Um, you definitely feel let down. And there's still this element of you wanting to give to a situation because you got memories here. Whatever this is, there's memories of when things were, were good. And I feel like you were trying to collaborate. You were trying to remain confident. You were being very brave in this situation and kind of putting yourself on the line here for this person. Okay, you may have given this person like work or jobs or opportunities to 
build themselves. And at one point, you guys may have shared the same vision. And you're in just really, especially with the five of cups and the three of swords, I feel like you're in this space where you're you're trying to build and create a new cycle for yourself or a new life for yourself and it's more creativity and you're trying to implement things but this whoever this other person was this other party is their energy was getting in the way negatively yeah look at this care in reverse they were careless somebody was careless here they weren't really supportive um, this could have even been, some of you may have, this could be a parent who it's like, you're doing it all. And this person is not showing up. They're not, you know, um, putting into their, their, that they're not filling their end of the bargain here. Somebody needs help. Look at this. It's just like I said, it's like, you may have offered to help this person. And now they're in a situation where they need to be apologizing to you because they did you wrong. Clarify, please. You are a light worker, share your gift, and then you have success on the bottom. There is someone here who feels like giving up a lot because you feel as though people may not understand you or understand where you're coming from, right? And so you have a hard time expressing and or sharing who you really are because you feel like people are going to judge you for who you are or what you do. Okay. This person thinks of you and feels towards you as the six of wands. There's a lot of pride here. This person has prideful energy, the two of swords. I sense that they're trying to block your success or they're trying to block any type of um, opportunities that come your way. Knight of Pentacles, eight of wands, two of swords. <clears throat> This person has a really hard time applying themselves, okay? I, I, that's how it's showing up. And I, I just keep seeing this person wanting to manipulate the energy and pull back the energy and not actually give to this, okay? Especially with the hermit and the magician. With, with this two of swords energy, it's like any type of movement, any type of investment. There could have been travel involved too because I see an airplane. Something that looks good for you, they want to put a pause on it. Maybe they used to be reliable, right? Things used to, to work very well with this person. It's almost like this person wants to block you and they want to take off on their own. Because there's a lot of sudden changes. When this person thinks about the situation, it's like they're flighty. They want to make a fast and sudden decision. Clarify this, please. This could be a family member. Yeah, there's some type of travel here. Origin, where you came from. Creativity, vitality, bully. This person is jealous. Somebody's jealous of your what you're building or what you're creating here. This could be a family member. This could be a soulmate, somebody that you have a family with. Yeah, there it is. Okay, especially with the Queen of Wands. Spell work backfired. You are protected. Someone needs to take accountability. They are still dealing with a karmic. So... This is a soulmate situation. And remember, soulmates don't just have to be lovers. Soulmates can be friends. They can be family members. Soulmates are sent into our lives not to give us peace and rainbows and unicorns, but they're, soulmates are mirrors. And they show us what we need to heal within ourselves. okay? And this particular soulmate has a lot of karma around them. 
Uh, and it does look like this is a family member of some sort or somebody that you may share a family with. And remember, spell work does not mean somebody is writing out spells against you. Our energy, our thoughts, our words, our intentions towards other people are that strong. Okay, so somebody had really ill intentions towards you. And again, with the, the hermit and the magicians, like they don't want you to find something out about their intentions. So they're trying to quiet it down. <clears throat> when you think about this person, it's the five of cups. You're very sad. There's a lot of grief over how something ended. King of swords over the truth here. Could be dealing with an air sign. Six of pentacles. Somebody... Nine of Cups, Three of Swords. You may have given, given, given to this connection or this particular person, this situation. You gave a lot of yourself, almost to the point of depletion here. Somebody's heartbroken too, maybe over a pregnancy. Okay, that's random, but... There is heartbreak either over somebody choosing another direction or they're heartbroken over something involving a pregnancy or a child, okay? Again, there's an energy here of somebody not investing the way that they should have, not being present. And you're feeling a loss. Shadow work, dark night of the soul. Yeah, overload. This is too much for you. You're feeling very overwhelmed. This is somebody that you have a lot of emotions for, Capricorn. What is this protest and this pride? It's almost like no matter what you do to try to help this person, like you can see something very, very clearly. And I sense that you're in a space where you've tried multiple times to express some form of logic into this situation and try to be um, of support and try to give help. And, uh, but it didn't, it wasn't working. All, all it did was drain you. Child support or custody issues. There, see, I'm telling you, there's some with children here. And then addictions and codependent behavior. So whoever, whatever this person is, whatever this situation is, um, could be dealing with your own children. Okay, it's something within family. But if you don't have children, child support and custody is about ownership of a situation and who who uh, needs to take accountability on their half? What is their responsibility in a situation? And somebody here is dealing with addictions and this person is overwhelmed. They're overloaded with addictions. They're overloaded with codependent behavior that is hidden and they're dealing with karmic energy here, okay? And so you may be trying to speak truth and logic into a person and they're just unable to meet you at your level you have the, ma the magician and the hermit for this person's intentions i'm telling you they have hidden intentions here what is this the hermit and the magician this person may have been doing spell work on you secretly what is this please the hermit and the magician the Two of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Clarify. And the Six of Cups. There's a lot of in and out. The Lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini here. But I feel like there, this person may have like taken action, then stopped taking action, taking action, then stopped taking action. It's like a constant cycle of lessons, a constant cycle of unexpected events. And this person's intentions right now is to walk away before you figure something out. Clarify, please. There are definitely children involved in this situation. Perfect. Evidence. 
there could be a, a pregnancy involved because I have a um, an ultrasound here. There's hidden information, okay? Somebody could be trying to plan or plot something on somebody here, Capricorn. They're trying to gain more information or they have some type of proof. Somebody could be trying to trap somebody with the baby. I'm just letting you know, or that's how they, that, that was their intentions. Cause this is their intentions towards you Capricorn. So I don't know what's going on, but I have to say what I see. And if, and if you're not in a situation where somebody feels like they've been trapped or tricked with the baby here, then there's somebody who's uh, scared about a commitment. Yeah, I just opened it to marriage. It's like hidden intentions, hidden motives. Clarify, please. You are breaking cycles, major transformation and rebirth. Money fraud. They are being found out. Lies will be exposed. All right, what are Capricorn's intentions? The moon, you know something is hidden. You're trying to get to the bottom of it, especially with this moon energy. You, you want to get to the bottom of it. What is this, please? Seven of Cups. So, so there's a lot of illusions, a lot of confusions. Um, I think that you're trying to figure out what is the right choice, what is the right path here. There's a lot of opportunities that are presenting itself to you and it's showing up as indecision, but it's really because this person is, is not being truthful. Nine of swords. It's like you're waiting for something. You're waiting to figure something out. There's a lot of negativity here. Five of swords, a lot of arguing. Wow. Seven of swords. What is going on? Somebody was extremely deceptive. Somebody was extremely manipulative. There's other parties involved. There's a whole group here. And I feel like for you <clears throat> right now, everything feels hidden. And you can sense something in your spirit and you feel off. And this is something that stresses you out a lot. There may be somebody trying to intimidate you or bully you, but there's a lot of hostility, a lot of disputes and arguments that are showing up here. Clarify. Yeah, you just want peace. You have relaxation, memory, and fury. There's a lot beneath the surface here that you're not you're not showing. On the I feel like Cap Capricorn you're just like calm and cool on the surface, but underneath there's a lot of anxiety. You may be dealing with some I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is putting you through hell. And you're not really letting anyone else know. Yes, yeah, sweet dream. You're like I just got to let I got to get over this. I got I can't deal with this. There it is again, bully. Somebody feels bullied by you or vice versa. They want to be with you. Blessings and rewards are coming. Abandonment wounds need to be addressed. I feel like this person places a lot of trickery over you. And you're unable to see like the truth of what a situation is. And this person likes to try to keep you stuck, whether it's with lies, manipulation, secrets, like they may threaten you with something here. What you can expect from them is the 10 of swords. There's a lot of pain and betrayal. It's all going to be okay. It's just something is coming to an end. Seven of swords. Yeah, I'm telling you. There's a lot of lies, a lot of trickery going on here, a lot of manipulation that somebody's trying to cover something up. The world, it's coming to an end though. They don't want to do this anymore. They don't want to deal with this anymore. Yeah, the queen of cups. Something, it's like, I don't know what happens to this person, 
because you got the moon here, the tower. Okay, that makes sense with, with the empress. There's definitely a pregnancy here. There's a pregnancy that may be hidden or maybe not a lot of people know about. Maybe you're not telling people that you're pregnant, okay? But what you can expect from this person is it's almost like they have a change of heart and whatever they were trying to do to you, they stop. And it's not, it's it's kind of the way spirit is showing it to me. I just got goosebumps. It's kind of, it's good that they're stopping, but it, the reason why they're stopping is not like a true compassionate reason. They're stopping because it's building up so much karma for them. And they're, they're like, it's more for themselves that they're stopping, right? It's not so much like, oh, I've hurt people. It's, oh, I'm going to hurt myself, which, you know, I guess in the long run is great, but clarify, please. Yeah, pride. I, can't, I cannot make this up. This person could be an introvert, okay? This person is dealing with a lot of pride right now. They, they operate from a space of ego, and they made some really bad decisions in the past, um, marionette. They were under some type of control here. Yeah, protest, calm. It's like all of a sudden they don't want to. They don't want to do that anymore. Their ego has gotten the best of them because it's it's biting them in the in the butt. That's that's really what it is. Somebody's pride is definitely getting in the way. Money is coming, so this person uh, may give you some type of investment, some type of loan, some type of money. Especially if there's children involved. I I gotta keep saying that because there are for sure children involved. All illusions, all smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Wow. Somebody was lying about something for sure and playing a trick on you. And I feel like it was to get money or to get some type of abundance from you. Could even just bang your energy. Clarify the seven of swords. So what they can expect from you is the seven of swords. I feel like this is you silently walking away. Like you see something for what it is. You see how manipulative, tricky, cunning this person was. So you're out of there. You're like, okay, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Nope, I don't want to deal with that. Yep, the fool. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. You're taking a leap of faith. This is not easy for you. Three of Swords, King of Cups. This is something that is heartbreaking. But I also feel like Capricorn, you understand the process, okay? You lose some and you win some here, but there's a new beginning where, where you're off to go re receive your rewards, your harvest. But through that comes a lot of pain because you need to separate yourself from a situation that I feel has tore you down. Something has really, really hurt you here and you feel betrayed. And it is, it's being shown as a loss, but it's also being shown as something that you recognize needs to happen. Yeah, protest, saving, you're keeping it to yourself. Inadequacy, marriage and hesitation. So for some of you, this could have to do with the marriage here. Clarify. Coach and nightmare. Wow, wow. I feel like you're finally listening to your own advice. Like what if, if, if a friend came to you and was in your same situation and they explained their whole story to you, what advice would you give them? Because you may have been against, like you may be going against other people's advice by choosing to break free from a situation or walk away. Because that's what I feel like. It, it, but you're suffering. You're suffering in this situation. But there's some type of like persecution or you feel persecuted here. Yeah, mother wounds. There could be something here with a mother that you're dealing with or you are the mother and this is between you and your child. Somebody's lying to you. You're under attack, spiritual warfare. Especially when you have the queen of pentacles is what spirit wants you to focus on. There is some type of mothering issues that need to be addressed within yourself even like in regards to self-love right you have a loved one who has passed on that protects you capricorn and you need to cleanse and smudge your home because there's a lot of negative low vibrational energy that's in there possibly from this person what does uh, capricorn need to focus on in terms of the queen of pentacles the sun give to yourself live in your truth abundance joy happiness confidence 
Don't, yeah, walk away from anything that is less than the Eight of Cups. You're searching for something to fulfill you, but you're staying connected to situations that seem to be draining you at the same time. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You're in search of this happiness, and then there it is, the devil on the bottom. It's like I said, there's like an addiction to conflict. There's an addiction to drama. There's always something that wants to get in the way but it's how you perceive it and how you handle it and then you have the hermit so you're withdrawing your energy from anything that makes you feel less than you don't have the time or the space for it anymore that's why it's like be the bigger person and remove the clutter dang these cards keep flying off you have saving yeah preserve your energy protect yourself from anything collaboration like don't don't, um, then you have loneliness on the bottom. Don't give to something just because you don't want to be lonely, right? You need to preserve your energy because whatever this collaboration is, it's not entirely good for you. But I do feel like there's some type of enhancement that's coming to your life in the form of another opportunity. Yeah, new love is coming. There's another opportunity that's coming in, but you're blocking this new opportunity from coming in the more that you stay connected to this painful situation. You're under attack. That's why the devil is here. You're under attack because you're growing. Maybe your faith has gotten deeper lately or you're going deeper in your faith. You're connecting more with God. So it's like once we start activating with God inside of us, all of the negativity, all of the demonic energy starts to awaken as well because it realizes it's about to be pushed out. And so it tries to grip onto your thoughts so that you cannot break free and be filled with the peace of mind. What that also means is there's a lack in your faith. Because if you have a faith and belief in knowing that nothing is stronger than God, then all of that will dissipate because you know that he's in control of your mind and your thoughts. All right, let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune as the outcome, please, for Capricorn. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Temperance, yeah, healing, balance, peace, tranquility, all of that. It's right here. Judgment. You just have to make the judgment call. You just have to make the decision and evaluate yourself and renew yourself. And it doesn't happen overnight. This is a judgment that you have to do continuously until you train your brain to not pay attention to your conscious. You need to go into your subconscious because your conscious mind right now is programmed to whatever the world has programmed you to until you reprogram it. But you got to make that decision. That's you calling judgment every day. Cancel out the negativity. Cancel out this. Can't, like that's what you have to do. Reconcile the situation. Open up your heart. Be the bigger person. Ace of Cups. Fill yourself with love. Page of Swords. Don't just think about it. Be about it. Do it. There's a new love that wants to come towards you. There's new thoughts a new way of being, new blessings. There's some type of emotional and spiritual awakening that you're going through. Imagination. Connect to your mind. Renew your mind. Blessing. You need to focus your mind on the blessings that you want, the life that you want, instead of the trauma and the pain that you have, um, that didn't work, that you have experienced, right? That's the only way to get yourself out of this situation is a, a renewal of your mind. Because it looks like when you're under attack, that means that your thoughts, everything, there's so much confusion around you. It's demonic energy. You need to control and stabilize your emotions. Somebody is lying to you and that's why you're confused because Judas is near. Because you're not listening to your intuition in a situation. It's and, and the reason why is because of your your loyalty to this person. You got to be loyal to yourself and God before you're loyal to anyone else. And if somebody is not loyal to God and they don't have a life filled with prayer uh, or a connection with God, then you have to know, okay, we're not in alignment, right? It, it really, that's how you have to start judging things here because somebody's betraying you. 
All right, Capricorn, take a deep breath and think about the question and or situation that you are seeking guidance on. There's gonna be three piles with two cards each. Uh, you do not have to pick just one pile. You can pick all of them if you'd like. It's whatever your spirit uh, leads you to do. So let's get these uh, piles out here. All right, if you picked pile number one, you have balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. And then new love, which is the second time that's come out for this reading. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. All right. And then we have pile number two, chemistry. The attraction that you feel is mutual. Rejection. This rejection is actually a divine protection. All right. And then you have pile number three, vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person, different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. So maybe if you are open with this person, you'll realize like, hey, we're not on the same page. We need to separate. All right, Capricorn, I'm sending you guys much love during this time and as you figure out the situation. Bye.